The pursuit of AI is painted as an international race. AI dominance depends on very smart people. Alex Beard has studied education systems around the world and says China will become the best in AI through education. What I think China has is a great basic education system, and they've just announced last year this big AI education policy. So they're planning to build national institutes of artificial intelligence education across the country. They're bringing AI education into the curriculum for secondary schools. So kids in Shanghai, for example, know three years more maths and one and a half years more science than kids in the UK. Why is education the key to winning this long race towards um, AI dominance? Well, there is a, a Chinese saying which I really like, that if your plan is for one year, plant rice, if your plan is for 10 years, plant trees, and if your plan is for 100 years, educate children. China's AI industry is getting involved in education too. This high school textbook about AI fundamentals was released by one of China's leading AI startups, SenseTime. Usually it takes about five or six years to produce a PhD. So we've figured instead of saying you can only learn about AI in college, you can actually learn when you're in high school. The textbook was implemented today in about 100 top high schools in China. May I? Yeah! Awesome, let's do it. At Childbirth Singapore, they teach students to code and program robots by the time they graduate at six years old. We started as a bilingual school where we practice uh, half-day English and half-day Chinese. But with the advent of uh, AI, we feel that it's important for children to learn the third language, which we believe is coding, the language to communicate with robots and AI. Now look at this function one. There is a read inside like 60 normal 55 for 60 normal 55. As you know, for learning a language, it's best to learn it when you're young. Sarah, what's 22? And so does everyone love this, or have you had some criticism? <laughs> there are also some parents that feel that uh, coding is for programmers. My child is going to be a doctor or lawyer. Uh, why is this relevant to my child? But the reality is AI is going to impact all industries and all jobs. So how can exposing children to robots and AI make them more human? For example, like the uh, robot dance that uh, you, you saw earlier. That is a creative uh, endeavor. Okay, they need to uh, think about how to position the robots, what uh, dance steps uh, they need to do, the music. This is, goes beyond just the coding and the programming side. They have to communicate, they have to work as teams, they have to solve problems, they experience failure and success. The robot dance is just the means of uh, training them on these much bigger things. As a result, they become more human. From what I've seen, the next generation will have the real power over AI. How the future turns out will depend on the values we pass on to them.